Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. So when we last left off, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> but anyway, um, so guys, a lot we have to do and discuss. And um, first of all, I just want to say it looks like the Attack of the BC, uh, blah, <laughs> looks like Attack of the B Team series is on for um, scheduling, so, um, we're gonna be doing some recording today, so you probably won't see it, well, you definitely won't be seeing any episodes until this weekend, um, I'm not sure if we're doing Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or if we're just doing Saturday and Sunday yet, um, I don't know. We still gotta work out the little details, <laughs> so I don't want to overwhelm them because, um, you know, they're a little bit busier in life, um, uh, you know, so I don't want to overwhelm them with, we have to record kind of thing. So, um, we're just going to take it easy and hopefully we'll definitely have some episodes during the weekend. So that means Agrarian Skies is only going to be, uh, you know, every other week, um, season two Eve Lila Solo every other week. And then on the weekends, it's going to be Attack of the Beat Team with me and my friends. So, some of my friends. <laughs> two of my friends. I have a lot of friends, trust me. I um, But these two girls, their schedule works with my schedule. So, um, I'm really happy that they want to do this because um, I know you guys have been wanting wanting <laughs> me to record with others but it's really hard because my I have a really odd schedule and it doesn't usually mesh well with others but these two girls it works perfect for now anyway so um so let's go ahead and get started guys um basically I just wanted to get that out in the air since we were still kind of on the iffy side of it on Monday but anyway, I got a couple of these quests. I yeah, I think <laughs> I don't remember what I did to get this, but um, I think it was just turning in the same quest here. Maybe I think maybe I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to the bags. Okay. All right, we got some ender lily, so, ender lily seeds. Wow, I tried to say all that in one big thing, but <laughs> what else? Um, we don't need that, so. Um, and we definitely didn't need these either. These are very nice rewards, apparently, but. Um, book. Eh, we don't really need those. I don't. It worked just fine earlier. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I've noticed one thing. Okay. Um, I have noticed since I filled this in with dirt, we are now spawning ocelots. Um, I'm not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. I thought we steered clear of the jungle. Apparently, there's a slight jungle like right in here <laughs> um yeah and it's making the ocelot spawn and i'm not i'm not really liking that oh you can see what i've been doing over there okay um i'm not happy about that so to keep my chickens safe i am going to be killing them when i see them running around so don't hate don't hate because i am all for animals i love animals and i don't like killing them but i don't want them killing my only chickens now, if this was a, an open world and we didn't have to worry about stuff like that, it wouldn't bother me that much. It really wouldn't. Um, I would just let them be and let them do whatever they wanted to do. But um, since we actually have to spawn them and stuff, um, chickens, it, I don't want to risk it. So, what ifs? Or, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what I can do. But anyway, I'm playing in the street as you guys can see. Um, and I got this going, and some of you already know what this is, and some of you may not know, but this is like an automated bee, um, bee making machine, <laughs> more or less. Um, so the, the bees are going to mate, and they're going to create their whatevers. I've already been playing with it quite a bit already, and, uh, we're getting some 
pretty cool things here. Um, but some of these require wheat. Some require, like, the vines from the jungle. Some require flowers. And um, it's been kind of funny, actually. So, um, yeah. And then over here, I, I just got the... These are the industrial apries. And then I just put item ducks underneath it, put the pneumatic servos, un, you know, in it and set it up and stuff. And then I got this hooked up to my, um, my energy source down below. And then I've got the squeezer, the mutagen producer, a mutatron, genetic sampler, genetic imprinter, and genetic transposer. I've got all those hooked up. And then... And then I got the DNA extractor, and I've got the DNA going into a barrel, and I also have DNA in here. I have a gene, you just put a gene sample in here, and uh, it'll fill up, and, and then we'll get this little guy here. And we need him. Now I have this trash can hooked up here, because if I don't, this, um, this is actually a blank the gene sampler in here will create blank gene samples and it just it creates like a bazillion of them like within seconds and like if this if it gets full here which is like a stack of 64 then it no longer works so i just hooked a trash can up to it and set it um to where that stuff automatically goes in there into the trash can because we don't need like that many of them trust me and if we ever get to the point where we need more, I can just take that off, collect what we need, and then put that back on. So, no big deal. Um, but yeah, so I've been playing with that off camera, trying to get it to work and stuff. And it's working like a charm. The only thing is, is I wanted to breed these guys here. And I can't do it over here because it's in a hostile environment. So I need to find somewhere in this world where I can breed those and just set up a thing here so this may not be the best location to put this but it was open available space so i just started doing it and it works like a charm so but anyway uh we have a quest that we can turn in now okay and manual detect the liquid dna vial that we just got and we're going to claim that reward, which is only a half a heart. But this opens up another one. And what do we need? We need that much liquid DNA. So what I need to figure out is how to get the liquid DNA from in here to the quest log. And I think I will try it again. But the last time I tried to hook this up, it wasn't working too well. Uh, but I may be able to, uh, try and put it in the, I may just have to take the barrel out and then put the, the QDS here and let it just automatically pump into there. So that may be something I have to do too. Um, but for now that works. All right. So that gives us just a small window to do other stuff, which we're not going to be able to do a whole lot because that actually took a little longer to do than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, so, um, let's run down here and check on our stuff real quick. I want to make sure everything's still going kosher. I didn't have a chance to check it before I started recording. I told myself I was going to, but, um, I kind of got sidetracked and started recording. Imagine that. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, as you can see, I got it hooked up to this one. I did originally have it hooked up to this one, but it was, I think, with all these machines going, it was just pulling way too much. Um, so, yeah, I've got it hooked up, I think. Yeah, I've got it hooked up from that one going to up there to where our B system is. And I have to be really careful because when I'm doing the jungle bees, um, yeah, they put off a poison <laughs> and it lasts like a 
couple minutes, maybe not that much, but it, it seems like it takes forever, um, and it's pretty scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so that is working. Um, hmm. So it looks like we're still making quite a bit of stuff here. Um, that doesn't really matter, I don't think, because that is full. Um, what's going on here? Oh, the dust won't go in there. Oh, okay. I gotta figure out something else, too. Um, hmm. I wonder if there is a way. I bet I can. I bet I can. Let me look. Oh, snap. I bet. <laughs> I bet I can run it from the barrels back behind the barrels and take it over here and then just have it automatically depositing into this autonomous activator. So, yeah. Um, that's what I need to do. Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I think about that sooner? Oh, well, whatever. Anyways, yep, the life of Eve. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, so that is going good. I don't think we have anything in there. Nope. Okay, sweet. All right, well, Guys, I just wanted to, sorry about that. I just wanted to let you guys know about what's going on with the, with the new schedule. I know you guys have gotten used to it and, um, but hey, new series is a good thing, right? It keeps it refreshing and fun and at least this time it'll be with friends and that'll be exciting. We get kind of really goofy and we will do our best to keep it clean. <laughs> uh... Us three girls, oh, we get a little crazy sometimes. Uh, yeah, but we will really try our hardest to be appropriate because <laughs> we're not always appropriate. Um, but we're going to try really, really hard. Um, yeah, so. But anyways, that is all the time we have for today. I'm going to go ahead and cut it short because I need to get this vid video uploaded. Um so I can meet up with the gals and get some recording done and uh, stuff like that. So, all right. Well, that is all the time we have for today, guys, unfortunately. You guys are amazing and thank you so very much for watching and thank you all so very much for subscribing. And um, don't forget to favorite, comment, like, and share these videos. And you guys take care and have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. <laughs> I guess the next time you see me, uh, we'll be playing Attack of the Beat Team. And then to Season 2 Eve Lila Solo. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel. And yeah. And for those of you that are new to the schedule, which is all of you. <laughs> but anyways, bye!